Hi, I'm State Senator Scott White from the 46th Legislative District in North Seattle. Thanks for watching my latest video update. We're now three weeks into the 2011 legislative session and we're making progress in writing a supplemental budget for the remainder of the current fiscal year that will end in June of this year. We're also making progress on the two-year budget for the coming 2011-2013 biennium. As you probably know all too well by now, the state of Washington is in the midst of a historic budget crisis because the Great Recession has slowed our economy and caused our state revenues to fall well below the amount needed just to maintain the current levels of service throughout state government. Now with respect to the current year's budget, the legislature will be forced to take swift action to make additional service reductions. We already cut $584 million last December in a one-day special session. And earlier this week, the House passed another early supplemental budget that made an additional $350 million worth of cuts and fund transfers. We're now considering this budget proposal in the Senate, and we'll likely be making changes before taking a final vote in the coming weeks. Now looking ahead to the 2011 and 2013 biennial budget, the state revenue forecast is projecting a $5 billion deficit. Now we will fall short of the amount needed to maintain current service levels throughout state government. In addition to the budget, things have also been busy on the policy front. I've introduced 19 bills so far this session on issues such as the victimization of homeless persons, public financing for Supreme Court races, smoking in cars while children are present, and issues related to urban planning and the Growth Management Act. I was also privileged to have the opportunity to introduce a resolution honoring Dr. Martin Luther King last week on the Senate floor. One of Dr. King's enduring life lessons was service to our communities. This week has been especially busy. I introduced legis legislation that would give local governments the option to assess a local fee to fund transit service. As residents in Seattle and King County know, Metro Transit is a critical service for citizens, and I'm working with leaders here in Olympia and in King County to ensure that transit is a key part of our transportation funding discussions. Also, my proposal to improve efficiencies in the administration of the state's higher education system was considered in the Senate Higher Education and Workforce Development Committee this week. This proposal, which has broad support from both Democrats and Republicans, will both save money and streamline our governance structure in the state's higher ed system. The last bill I will mention is a bill I sponsored that would reduce the amount of phosphorus in our waterways by managing the sale of lawn fertilizers that contain phosphorus, which is a cause of toxic algae blooms. This bill is currently moving through the Senate Committee on Environment and Water and Energy. Now before I sign off for this update, I want to let you know that for the time being, I will not be mailing out print newsletters to constituents in my district due to cuts in the Senate's administrative budget. However, I will continue to issue e-newsletters on a regular basis throughout the session. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to sign up for my distribution list on my website, which is listed on your screen. That's it for this update. As always, never hesitate to contact me by phone or email. Thanks so much for watching and for your engagement in your state government. Take care.